Uh, hi everyone, my name is Janis Slezins. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon uh, practicing in Riga, Latvia. I just want to give a short comment on what has happened today here. So we had a single surgery today uh, due to some circumstances. This was quite short list today. Um, this was 56 years old male complaining of chronic low back pain with irradiation to his left leg. He had an MRI scan which confirmed diagnosis which is a, a lumbar disc herniation at level L5-S1 on left side. Surgeries due to disc herniations are quite common so they are straightforward uh, surgeries. We position patient prone on the table uh, then we perform x-ray before uh, performing incision just to mark the incision site to keep it small and uh, then after preparation of the surgical field and the draping we uh, uh, start surgery incision then we uh, reach the interspinous uh, uh, space then we perform another x-ray just to confirm that we are on the correct level because it's quite easy to get confused if we don't use x-ray and then we proceed with the microdiscectomy so as you probably seen this was quite straightforward procedure it took less than one hour to perform and these are one of the most typical uh, things that we do here so as you can see from the videos, incision is quite small, surgery is uh, minimally invasive. In typical scenarios, we keep patients one night after the surgeries and then we mobilize them with the physiotherapist on first day post-op and if everything is fine, then we discharge them to recover in home setting. Then we recommend patient to take it easy for two to three weeks, uh, keep wound uh, dressing dry and clean, and the most important recommendation is to avoid sitting or bending forwards for significant time and this is to prevent a disc herniation recurrence. Typically recommend patients to wear lumbar brace for two to three months after surgery and start exercising as soon as they are comfortable.